we have a MacBook Pro, and we're running a speed test by Blackmagic. And what that basically lets us do is transfer a file to a, a hard drive or storage device, and then back again in real time, and just see how fast the read and write speeds actually are. So with our uh, optical cables by Corning, this particular product is our USB 3.0. Excuse me, a USB 3-point optical cable. Love it. And uh, what, what's unique about this product is that we're able to transfer USB 3 and USB 2 simultaneously. Oh, really? Okay. Yep, so it's backward compatible, 3.0 and 2.0. So what we're doing is we're transferring the data stream, USB 3, over. This is 30 meters of USB cable, our uh, optical cable by Corning. And then we, we're going into this Belkin hub that's powered. Uh, from there, we have a short copper cable to a very fast uh, SSD external drive. Okay, and we chose this drive so that if you look at the uh, the reads uh, data rate, we're pushing about 445 megabytes per second. So it's very close to the theoretical limit of five gigabits per second, which is, the, as you know, the the maximum for the right the USB three. Right. So the technology is we're converting electrical to optical, optical through the cable, and then back to electrical on the other end. Not only are we doing that over fiber, we're also sending some power to uh, power the transceiver that's in that uh, uh, connector on the other end. Because as you know, uh, there's no power being provided on the peripheral side. Right. And that's not slowing it down at all to send that power. That's correct. Wow. That's correct. Do you have any other specific questions about the USB 3? Do we want to add anything to that? Um, you've, you've seen the advancements of the cable. Without our uh, enhanced optical cable, we really wouldn't be able to, to promote this in the consumer uh, electronic space because the cable being so durable and efficient and rugged. Also then running on fiber too, we're going 10, time, 10 times farther than you can run on a copper cable. It's 50% uh, smaller mm -hmm. and 80% uh, lighter. So you've got a longer run, longer run cable, the USB cable. Did you cover that, Jamie? Oh, yes. Uh, the link. Yep. So just in weight, it's, there's pounds difference. Yes. By a magnitude, to get that much yes. length with that much less weight yes. is incredible. Yes. So the consumer applications are huge and varied. Who is your primary audience? I just wonder what this does. That would be the, the primary audience for this would be the consumer or the, the prosumer who needs that extended distance for USB 3. This is right. Yeah. It's perfect. Right. So, so an example would be uh, uh, anybody who's working on a desk, like my desk at home, I like mine nice and tidy. Yes, we do. <laughs> so I, so, and, and I do back up regularly to an external hard drive. I don't use a cloud service. And I like my hard drive on, on uh, the bookcase that's next to my desk. Yeah. So, and some people like to go as far as put electronics in the closet. Right. And this, this type of uh, technology enables the link that lets people do that on the other hand. So that's an example of, of not, that's not for everybody. Sure. Yeah. But it makes it available. It, to makes, everybody. it, it makes it available. And it's it makes it available. Uh, it, it solves a problem, I think, that today people may not know they have because they, they're tethered to that three meter link yeah. on the on the well, three o cables today. We feel it. We work in an office and we feel it. <laughs> I've been out on shoots trying to back up to external hard drives and we feel it. Yeah. To be able to go and have that distance, have the crew stand back and have that, that's that's what we want out there on the field. Now on a do, football field. <laughs> so we, we, do, we do have a couple of variations. What right. Jamie was running here was a, a, a Micro B has a, a A connector to a micro B. Okay. And this is a A connector to an A receptacle. Ah, uh, okay. So then this can plug into a tip a, another copper USB. And extend it even further. Yeah. Well, well, not or, to extend it oh, further. To get to, it through and connect it to the SSD yes. or the hub. Yes, of course. Or to a USB 2 device. Ah, uh, okay. Or to a an A to a USB 2 B connector. Wow. Or a okay. USB 3 B connector. Right. So they, it's basically an extension. This is, this is really a, a, almost a universal, universal. cable. Yeah, you, just, you take whatever, I mean, a USB cable is going to come with whatever device you buy. So with this extender, you just take, you just plug in that copper device into that extender and you're ready to go. 
You know, I love this. One of the things that we ask a lot um, to our readers and in the news is where is USB 3.0 useful to the consumer? And I think you've answered the question. It makes it truly compatible to all of your 2.0 devices, truly compatible to your living work life and your work life. You've answered the question that many people have had. So thank Great. you guys so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.